Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Jeff at Lockdown Security, bringing you a video today on the new for 2020 Kenwood Exelon DDX9907XR. This is part of the Kenwood Exelon reference series. This is essentially the same radio as the new DMX907S, which is a digital media receiver, but the DDX9907XR has CD DVD, which I'm just gonna show you right here. I'm actually just gonna open up this screen. So you'll see essentially it's got a CD DVD mechanism behind the faceplate and it's got a motorized adjustable screen. So essentially all the same features of the DMX 907S with exception of this one comes with a CD DVD mechanism. It's got the same capacitive touch touchscreen. It's got the same Apple CarPlay Android Auto as well as wireless Apple CarPlay wireless Android Auto. Uh, it's compatible with the iDatalink Maestro RR series. This happens to be an empty box for the RR2 but the RR actually works with this as well. For those of you who are not aware, the Maestro RR series is an additional purchase. It does not come included with the radio, but these modules are used for things like steering wheel control, uh, amplifier retention, on-screen gauges, radar detector integration. Uh, in the case of the RR2, switch output integration, i.e. you can use your steering wheel controls to control auxiliary settings like fog lights, uh, LED lights, anything that you wanna switch on and off, you can do through the RR2. But again, I digress, this video is about the DDX9907 and not about the RR. So I'm just gonna take you through a couple of things. You'll see it's got the higher definition screen, so that's standard definition, high definition. Um, very, very nice, clear, crisp, vivid display very much similar to the DMX 907 and essentially as mentioned all the same features it's in demo mode right now so it's just running through its demo cycle I'll just hit the home button so you can see how responsive it is uh, so this is HD radio basically Sal is always popping into my videos this weird character basically uh, you've got your Apple CarPlay your Android Auto uh, menu settings you can do there your home button is programmable so you can do different things with the home screen um, as you'll see, I've just been swiping back and forth so you can get different displays. This is all customizable. You can change all of these features if you want. Uh, you can also change what's down here on the home button. You've got a hard menu button for your audio setup and for your camera setup. You've got basically your home button, which takes you back to the home screen. These are the other apps that you have access to. All these are grayed out because I have it hooked up on my bench right now. Uh, what else does it have? Ah, yes, the famous hard cam button. I don't have any cameras plugged into this right now, but if I did, I could cycle through front camera and rear camera right now. As I touch the screen, nothing's happening because I don't have any cameras hooked up to it, but this product is compatible with the Kenwood dash camera, the uh, DRV N520. You can also program it so it has front, left, right cameras or front, rear, side camera you can do a bunch of different settings with regards to the cam menu let's see if i can get in there and i can show you that if i go to camera oh let's go to setup so i can turn rear camera interruption that setting is there so that if you had the if this was installed in a vehicle and i put the vehicle in reverse it would interrupt whatever is playing and it would show the camera image um, we can go to camera assignment settings so rear view camera input is assigned as rear camera, front view camera, dash camera, we can assign that. You can see what we can do. We can actually assign it as front. We can go enter. Third camera input we can assign as either left or right. I will say this, I kind of wish Kenwood had a four camera input instead of just three cameras. You can definitely put as many cameras as you want on these radios, but in order to do that, you technically need to buy an external video switcher, which is not included with this radio. Uh, out of the box, it's got three camera inputs, which as I mentioned, you can program as front, left, right, front, um, rear, right, etc. cetera. Um, and you can name basically the inputs. Now let's just double check this here. I can do that, AV in as there. I'm learning as I make these. Third camera is gonna be left, left, front camera. Ah, you know what, actually, my mistake. You can have four cameras because you take the AV input and you make that the fourth camera input. Now, the only thing with this is to cycle through these camera inputs, what would happen is if you hit the cam button, you have to use this to cycle through. 
The downside to that is that it doesn't actually turn on automatically like with turn signals. If you wanted it to do that, you would need to use a video switcher in order to make it work as an automated switching camera. But if you're okay with switching it on screen, as I just learned while filming this video, this radio actually has four camera inputs. So what does that mean? That means that all the Kenwood radios in the model lineup for 2020 that have the separate camera inputs, you can have four cameras, left, right, front, and rear. Um, with all of that being said, actually you'll see, yeah, I got it all actually programmed correctly. I'll go back out of here and I'm just gonna show you uh, this. You can do wireless mirroring. So if your phone is compatible with Wi-Fi mirroring of its screen output to a compatible device, you can mirror the phone using the screen. But again, most people are gonna be using Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, so Wi-Fi mirroring really is one of those features that you may never use. But this radio's got it, which is pretty cool. Also, as being part of the Exelon reference line, the audio outputs on the pre-out level and on the built-in amplifier level are slightly higher end than even the regular Kenwood line or the Kenwood Exelon line. Because it's reference line, the audio quality output on this radio is actually going to be superior than even a DMX907S because this is part of the reference line and the DMX907 is not. So that's kind of where the DDX9907XR fits in. I know that there's a lot of choice in the model lineups for Kenwood radios. If you need CD, DVD, you're not making a mistake by buying this radio. It's a really, really nice piece. And again, Wi-Fi with uh, Apple CarPlay, Wi-Fi with Android Auto, so you can't go wrong there either. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you do have any questions, uh, you can always send us an email, sales at lockdownsecurity.ca, or visit us on the web, www.lockdownsecurity.ca. Uh, and if you like this video, hit the like button. If you could, subscribe subscribe to our YouTube channel because it goes a long way to help us make more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.